Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.0.0. Uh, when I was last in Minecraft 1.0.0, we uh, were just kind of testing it out. I was messing around in the old stranded in Minecraft world, but I think I'd like to start a new series here today uh, with a brand new world just uh, spawned from scratch. That way we can get the entire Minecraft 1.0.0 experience. Uh, but I do want to do it a little bit differently. Because as you know, uh, perhaps you saw my, my uh, quick start or fast start speed challenge that I did based off of Brian Lorgon111's speed challenge. Uh, and I was able to find a full set of diamond tools in like 25 minutes. So starting a brand new game in Minecraft has become somewhat mundane and repetitive for me since I've tried so many different maps and spawned so many different worlds. So I'd like to give myself a little bit of a challenge. And the best way I can do that, I think, is by, uh, let me name this world, is by going into the seed and actually putting in the seed that I found during the first 1.0.0 video I made, uh, which is 292202. And for those of you who missed it, this seed plunks you in the middle of an ocean on a very tiny island without any trees. So this should make starting this world uh, a lot more difficult and uh, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, I have it on normal difficulty, and I have all the things generating and mobs and whatnot, so we're just gonna try this out right now. I'm gonna create the world from scratch. And this series, I am aptly going to name Minecraft Castaway. Ta -da! So yeah, <laughs> this brings back a lot of memories. Oh updating sand blocks. Uh, but yeah, I remember spawning this world and being very disappointed uh, because uh, for those of you who've been watching my videos, it's kind of a running running joke that I, I always have problems ending up in giant oceans uh, that have no land or foreseeable resources whatsoever. Uh, so I don't think uh, there is much here for me that I can get because there's no trees. I can't make any tools or gather stone or, or coal or anything. Uh, I think the only resource, that does look like that is some sort of cave back there, but uh, the only resource I think I should really waste my time with is punching these leaves and maybe trying to get some seeds. Uh, maybe I can uh, gather some blocks, just some uh, dirt blocks to try to, uh, if I can't find any sort of land, I can at least, at least like make some sort of land for myself. Uh, but uh, yeah, without trees there's not much you can do in Minecraft. Oop. Whoop, seeds. Seeds are helpful. Uh, just in case I find another island and, and can make some sort of food. But uh, I'm going to grab some dirt blocks here. Uh, and also, I guess, for some background, uh, for those of you who might not watch my other series, the, uh, the number 292202 comes from the distance I've traveled since... March of this year, I've been walking to the Far Lands, and I pressed F3 finally, and that is the distance from the center of my Far Lands or Bust map that I've traveled on my own without cheats or mods. So that's where that number comes from, and how I came to find this seed. It's kind of like a new survival island, or or 404 challenge, I guess you could say, only it's up on the surface. Uh, but yeah, this, this island is very useless to me. Uh, where, where's the... there's the sun. Uh, so that's the east... That's the north. Uh, I think, uh, in Far Lands or Bust, I'm heading west. Uh, but I think, kind of the, the agreed upon thing for survivalists, uh, the best way to head is probably south. I don't know why that is. I think it's probably, if, at least if you're in the northern hemisphere, it means it's going to get warmer towards the south, so that's a good thing. So uh, I'm just going to start swimming. And I'm hope I don't know, I'm hoping swimming doesn't make you hungry, because you are kind of jumping with the space bar. So we'll see about that. But uh, here goes nothing. Hell on Z. Bagoof. So yeah, I'm just gonna start swimming south. Uh, I'll probably edit a lot of this out unless I find something or see something interesting to talk about. Uh, but yeah, I did. I did want to mention that I have had a few people who saw my 1.0.0 video try out the seed and start playing, and they say that they travel around and they see some islands with some trees or something like that. Uh, I haven't really. I've, I tried to avoid those because I was thinking in the back of my head of using this as a Let's Play series, so uh, I don't really know the layout of this map or anything like that, and I don't really know 
uh, what I can find. And I'm a little bit frightened that perhaps with this seed and with any sort of seed where you end up on an ocean like this, that the majority of the, the entire map, no matter how far I travel, is just going to be small piddly little islands like that. Uh, I'm hoping at least one of them has a tree of some sort that I can start a tree farm and kind of make a my little own island refuge, but uh, I guess we'll see. Another thing I'm curious about is uh, with a seed like this, where do the where do the uh, strongholds spawn? And if they do spawn, will they be like easy to see because they're going to be just on the bottom of the ocean, or maybe they don't spawn unless it's it's in a continent or something like that? I'm not quite sure to the rules of how how uh, strongholds spawn. Uh, but yeah, eventually I want to kind of turn this into a normal Let's Play where I try to find strongholds and go into the nether and make resources and things like that. You know I'm not much of a builder, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of crazy building, I don't think. But uh, but yeah, for now, uh, the name of the game is finding an island with a tree, at least, and getting some resources, and then starting to... Uh, you know, build on that, and and I'd like to try to see if there is an island big enough where I could find some sort of civilization to be saved from being stranded or castaway. Nope, this is castaway. I'm a castaway, not stranded. That was the other the other series I did in 1.8. Yeah, this started to look promising because the ground started to rise, but then it kind of just ended. Uh, this is a little bit, little bit disconcerting. I'm starting to think maybe I should choose another direction. Um, ooh, this looks like some sort of ravine over here. What's going on here? Uh, it could also be useful if I could find through the ocean floor an abandoned mine shaft because there's obviously wood in there, uh, and then of course I'm going to be in a cave, so I'll be able to find coal and other items like that. Uh, so that's another way I could get started. Uh, but so far, I am not finding anything of the sort. <laughs> ah, this is going to be the most boring Let's Play ever. Alright, I guess I am kind of going east now because I just see this kind of strip of land that's a little bit higher than the bottom of the ocean, so maybe that'll lead towards something. Although it's not like, uh, it's not like Minecraft follows the rules of the Earth where you know, like Hawaii is over a tectonic plate or whatever, where the volcano causes these chain of uh, islands. Uh, so I don't think Minecraft really follows that line of thought. So I don't think following chains of islands is the way to go. Uh, so far, it's been a few minutes and I've been swimming and it doesn't appear to be impacting my hunger bar. So that's interesting. I just thought it would if you jump around on land like crazy, it, it starts to take away your hunger bar pretty quick, but uh, apparently swimming doesn't do that. Well, at least so far, anyway. I'm not... this isn't a conclusive experiment, but... Uh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to cut away, and then uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back in when I find something interesting. Ooh. All right, I'm back, and I found some more land. Um, doesn't appear to be much, and I don't see any trees. Uh, I was, I did kind of take a left turn, and I'm starting to head east here just because I was following these little patches of under underwater mountains. Um, there's a flower. I don't know what that means, but uh, <laughs> and I don't know what's underneath here. Yeah, I don't see any sort of lights or anything underneath the ocean, which is usually a symbol that there's a uh, underwater mine shaft or something. Whew! Ooh, that uh, holding the space bar and pressing W really really leads towards uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll try to get some seeds here just for the heck of it, but uh, and a flower just because. Uh, but yeah, this this island is pretty Maybe I should uh, mark off islands that I, just in case I circle around and find them. So let's do just that. That's a little bit unnatural. Maybe that'll that'll be my mark to say I've been to this island and it's useless. Just in case I kind of get lost and turned around. So uh, I'm gonna. Oh Lord, I can't sleep or anything. So uh, there's not much I can do here. So I'm gonna just keep. 
continue going east here just to see what comes of this. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys back in when I find something. Alright guys, I'm back. I started going kind of uh, northeast here, so kind of backtracking, uh, because I thought this was going to turn into some islands, but it turned out not to. Uh, it's actually not that far. There's the island I was just at over there. It's not that far from there, but uh, the sun is starting to go down, which is a little bit concerning. Oh, another island. Okay, yeah, let's check this out. Hopefully there's a tree here. Uh, of course, the, the trouble with finding land when it's starting to get dark like this is because, uh, because there's land and because I don't have torches, mobs can start to spawn. Uh, hostile mobs, that is. Uh, so I have to start to be a little bit careful. Uh, of course, this turns out to be... It's another piddly little island. Which is unfortunate. Um, I certainly don't want to stick around here long, because... Well, I don't think... There's some sort of radius where mobs won't spawn within... Uh, like, they won't spawn within eight blocks of you or something like that, but... Uh, So I'll have to be careful. So it's getting dark. And the hopeless music is starting to play. Alright, and because I've been here, I will mark it. Two blocks. Uh, but yeah, I think... Uh, I don't think I want to stick around here that much longer because uh, mobs might start to spawn. So there is the east. Uh, there's the north, which is kind of the way I was sort of heading. I want to head. I was heading kind of the east more. So let's keep going east, and uh, I don't have to worry about mobs if I'm in the middle of the ocean. But uh, let's check it out and see what I can see. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back, and I've been swimming for quite a while to the east. It's about midnight now, and uh, this really is kind of an expansive ocean. I haven't seen much in the way of underwater mountains or... Oh! What's this? Whoa, just when I start talking. Um... Okay. Okay. That seems dangerous. Um... I don't know if I should check that out because I don't immediately see if there is any sort of uh, under underground, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Abandoned mineshaft? And going down there without any sort of torches or, or other equipment is kind of a bad idea. I suppose I can check it out momentarily. Uh, that was one of the good things about swimming at night, is that you can, I guess, see these light sources a little bit better. But... Uh, Oh, cool. It appears to be it was, like, covered in sand and it just caved in. So let's let's head down there. Let's be reckless. What have we got to lose? Other than 11 pieces of dirt, 6 seeds, and 1 flower. Wow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back up. Alright, let's take it easy. Let's get some breath. Okay. I want to get off right here. Okay. Interesting. Um... And there's a creeper party going on over there. And I hear skeletons. I might have to give up on this because I don't see any wood of any kind. And there's no way I can explore this cavern because I have no light source. So, there goes the moon. While this was an interesting find, it's quite useless to me. Uh, so hopefully I can climb back up in time. And I am starting to get a little bit hungry, I can see, so that is going to start to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, so let's see if I can swim back up this without drowning. That wasn't good, I just got trapped on the side of that dirt. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, do it. Oof. Okay. Oof. Well, that was interesting, but uh, like I said, I can't do much about that. Uh, that's west. I was going that way. Uh, nothing... I'm not seeing much going east here. I might turn around... Not turn around, but turn right and start going south again. Uh, yeah, let's do that right now. And then I will once again bring you back when something interesting happens. 